What's up everyone, Michael here with a very quick tutorial talking about how to bring Layerware into the NGS Character Creator. Technically, the system should work for other cosmetics as well, however, I haven't tested it, and I believe people will probably be testing this stuff in the future, so I might do a future video on that sort of thing, but not going to worry about it for right now. But first off, we're just going to be looking at how to take a Layerware from an official install of PSO2 or NGS and bring it into the NGS Character Creator, which is quite nice that we can do this because it means that we can customize characters inside the Character Creator without having to worry about the limitations of the actual game, such as the ST passes or all the other type of mumbo jumbo. And you can also preview any outfit you want as long as you have some information about it. So anyways, let's get into it. So first off, what will we actually need? Well, first off, we'll obviously need the character creator installed. It can be the NA or the JP version. I am using the NA character creator here because that's what I have installed at the moment. And we'll also need the um, official version of PSO2 or NGS, depending on whenever you're watching this video to do this system. And we're going to use that to actually grab the outfit that we want. So if you technically just have the outfit, or maybe you have like a modded outfit file, like an ICE, technically that's all you need, but you just need the ID from the outfit itself. And we'll get into all of that in the future. And then we have cheat engine, which we're going to be using to get into the actual loaded data inside the game. And we're going to be changing a variable that will cause the game to update it into the proper ID for the outfit that we want to load. And then we'll obviously need some sort of prior knowledge about the outfit. Personally, I downloaded an item list from the modding discord, which is quite easy to find if you need it. So I recommend downloading one of those file lists and then you can actually find the outfit that you want. And we're going to be starting off with that. So. First things first, let's go ahead and find out what outfit we actually want to transfer over. I know that there got there were some outfits that ended up getting some NGS updates over in JP that I would really like to look at on my new character customization. So let's go ahead and open up our file list here that I got from the and from the uh, modding Discord. So as you can see on the right side, I already have the files that we want, but to explain how all of this works, we're gonna open it up in Notepad++. This will also work in like Notepad or any sort of text editor. And you'll use the find function, which is generally speaking, holding down control and pressing F and it'll bring up a menu similar to this one. And we're gonna type in the name that we want. Now I want the end chocolate Felice. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in here the, I'm just gonna type in Felice because it's faster. And then we'll, we want the base version, not the uh, B version or anything like that. So when I hit enter, it's going to find the B versions, but I just want the normal base version. So there we go. So the end chocolate Felice, is it Felice? I don't know. Base version. So here we have the file lists that actually has the English name, if it's applicable. And then we have the Japanese name. Then we have the item ID, which is going to be very, very important, as I was saying before. And then we actually have the file name itself. And so they use an encrypted file structure and we're going to need this file name as well. So I have this all copied over here. So we're going to be using this, but you'll basically take your file name. We'll use control and C, hold down control and hit C. And then we'll end up copying that actual file name. And we're going to go over to our file browser for the actual install of PSO2. And so we'll go to PSO2 bin and then we'll go to the data folder. And inside Win32 is where we should find it. If you are on an in NA install, you may need to search from here to end up actually finding the files because there will be multiple folders, such as the NA version of the game's files. And so you'll end up going up into the top right here where it says search. And we can paste in that file name and hit enter or just press the arrow or click the arrow. And it will search through these folders and try to find that file. As you can see, it found it here, found the ICE. Now we'll go over to our NGS character creator installation. We'll go down to PSO2 bin as well and the data as well. And then we'll go into wherever this one was found, which was found in the, if you look at the bottom here, it says it found it in my program files of the Win32 folder. So we're going to copy it over into the Win32 folder. Technically, you could probably do it in NA if, or in Win32, even if it was found in the NA folder, but I haven't tested that, so I can't really say. Anyway, so we'll enter the Win32 folder because that's where this was found. Click and drag while holding down the control key. You should end up having it copy over if you're in Windows. If not, you can also right click it and you can go to copy and then you can also right click and go to paste. That should bring it over as well. And now we have it inside of our folder here. If we search up for the number, it will find it. So there we go. See, now it's over in this folder. Now that it's actually in the game files, now we can dynamically load it inside the game. And this is where things get a bit complicated and where we need those IDs. So let's go back into our benchmark slash character creator and go into the character creator itself. And we're just going to load up a preset. I'm not going to load into anything special. So Newman type two, type two. 
because she's freaking adorable. And since we're doing layer wear, we are going to go to edit fashion and the layer wear. So we can see we're using the Viola Maril. And this is where we want to get the ID for the Viola Maril file. And we're going to want to use that in Cheat Engine itself. So first off, let's go ahead and open up Cheat Engine. So we will bring that up here. So just go ahead and find the EXE without any sort of extension. Double click it. And we'll open that up. Now, once Cheat Engine opens up, up in the top left will be a little monitor looking thing. Or you can also go to File and Find Process. And then you'll find the Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis Character Creator. We'll go ahead and open that one. You can also double click it as well. And this will allow us to uh, search the memory region of PSO2 at New Genesis. If your screen starts flashing a little bit, um, either for, through the video or in your actual game itself, uh, don't worry, that's something to do with the hooking of it and it's just kind of acting weird. So now we actually have the Viola Maril loaded into the game. So we need to find out where the game is loading that ID number. So we'll go back to our file list here. And we're going to find the Viola Maril. We already covered how to find it inside this list. So I'm just going to use the simplified versions over here. And so the ID number is 200070. We're going to go ahead and copy that. Switch back over into Cheat Engine. And we're going to paste that into this value bar here. Make sure it is on scan type, exact value. And value type is going to be four bytes. And then we're going to go ahead and do the first scan. The rest of the settings should work perfectly fine on default. If not, make sure to revert to default, which should be in your options. And then here we actually have a very long list. Now, one of these lists items is going to be the ID number that actually loads the outfit inside the game, but we don't know which one it is. So we're going to use a second outfit to change that value again. So go ahead and select the outfit selection and switch over to the other outfit, the Elia Quartz. Of course, this works with any outfit that you want. You just need to find it inside your file list. And so we're just going to use the Alea Quartz. If we switch back over to the file list, we can find the Alea Quartz. The value or the ID number is 200040. Copy that. Go back over into Cheat Engine. Replace the value that is inside the value box. Type that in or enter or control V. I never talk about control V. And then we'll hit next scan. Next scan will narrow the list down to everything that's going to be related to loading the actual file itself. So we'll select all of these using a click and then a shift click. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, if we click and then hold down shift and click to the bottom, it will select all of these. Use the little arrow to bring them all down into your bottom selection. Now, technically, the value that we want should be the very bottom one. However, that's not always the case. That's why we copy all of these. But if we go into here, and we select the Viola Maril value here, which is 200070. Copy that again. And we go back over to this bottom value so that you can see my NGS in the background. We'll double click the value here. Oops, there we go. See, so, so the bottom number, we'll just double click it. You can also right click and edit it that way. And then we'll replace this value with the value using Control V, and it should be the new value that we need. Click OK, and you can see in the background, it automatically switched to the outfit. Now we're going to go ahead, and if that doesn't work, however, you can obviously try these with each individual one until it does change in the background. But since these are all confusing to us, we're going to go ahead and use Shift and click again to just delete all of those, hitting the Delete key, and just hit Enter there. And now we're just left with the actual value that we want. So if I change this back to the value for the other outfit, you can see that it dynamically changes in the background. Now we can switch back to our file list and I have the chocolate fleece already copied over. We can take the ID, which is 200090, copy that, go back to Cheat Engine, double click, paste it in for the value, hit enter. And as you can see, this is not an outfit that is available within the closed or not closed, the uh, character creator itself. However, since the ICE is there and we changed the value that it's actually looking for, it will automatically load it in. Now you will see I have the layer wear here. It didn't change that. If you're in the selection itself, it won't actually change it and it doesn't show up properly inside the selection itself. So if I switch to another outfit, I do need to go back and actually change it again within Cheat Engine, which is why having Cheat Engine is quite a useful tool. Now there may be a way to actually update these selections in the future, which we currently don't have access to. However, this has been the easiest way to actually transfer over outfits. 
But there you go. That's a very, very easy to follow, super simple tutorial that should be able to follow by pretty much anybody. And you can do this with any of the outfits in the game, it seems like. So if I wanted to do something like a Santa jacket, I should be able to transfer it over into the character creator. And even better, we'll name this and then enter. And even better, we can look at it within the benchmark itself. And look at her go. Oh, yeah, and panty shot. But yes, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this style of content, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this one. And of course, any type of the type of content that I end up creating. And you can also leave your thoughts and comments below in the comments section. And of course, if you have any questions, you can also head over to our gaming discord called the Broken Chat Box, link in the description as well, and ask about it. Or you can head over into the modding discord. They'll have a ton more information about all this type of stuff over there. So if you can find it on the internet, which I will not link to, you can uh, ask them all about it and stuff. So yeah. And hopefully this has been helpful for everyone. See you guys in the new Genesis Fields.